I want to follow up with Avril Tidd um, and go back to 2014 when your predecessor, General Kelly, said that he was able to see 75 percent of the cocaine trafficking heading towards the United States, but that they had to, quote, simply sit and watch it go by, unquote, because of the lack of resources. And now I know some of that has changed, but we should all find this unacceptable, especially considering that the drug cartels are making um, on order of $85 billion a year in annual profits, which is literally what is fueling the violence, the corruption in Central America, and driving the refugee, refugee crisis that we see. So, Admiral Tid, how many interdiction assets do you have at your disposal, and what are your requirements? Uh, on a, a given day, on average, uh, we tend to have uh, between five and six surface ships. Those are largely Coast Guard cutters, one to two U.S. Navy platforms. Uh, the, the established requirement uh, in order to, uh, uh, to, to in, in interdict at the established target level of 40%, is up to 21 surface platforms. So it is, it's, a, it's a question of resources right. and, and allocation of resources and priorities uh, across all of the threats the country faces uh, is, I, I don't question that. Uh, I, I understand it, I was involved in it, uh, but it is simply a matter of resources. And I, I, uh, I wanna thank you for your work on this front. I asked that question specifically to uh, shine a light on how wide a gap there is between how we have resourced uh, your men and women who do that work and where we would like that to be, um, which is why uh, I, I asked you specifically what the requirement is. We're, we're nowhere close. We've gotten better. We, we need to keep a focus on that and uh, not let that slip. Let me ask you, too, what percentage of your ISR requirements are, are being met today? Overall, approximately 11 percent uh, of the requirement. I think that that's a pretty sobering number for all of us as well, Mr. Chair. Um, 